Hello everyone, my name is Jared Roper and I'm in Michigan and this is beautiful Lake Michigan behind me. The reason we're in Michigan is because Yamaha just wrapped up its media conference. And this year at the conference, we talked about something. We talked about ethanol. And we wanted to know the nitty gritties on what is all the fuss about ethanol. It's a national discussion. And so I had an opportunity to talk to David Mueller. He's the information manager at Yamaha. And I asked him, David, what's all the fuss about ethanol? Ethanol is alcohol. And when it's added to fuel, it mixes with the fuel. And alcohol is both a cleanser, and it's also what's known as hygroscopic, which simply means that it attracts water to it. Boats sitting on water and having unvented or vented fuel systems to the atmosphere are capable of actually drawing water in off the surface of the water and also are subject to the heating and cooling of the day. So therefore you get condensation inside the tank. That water will be attracted and bonded to the alcohol in the fuel and once it reaches one half of one percent of concentration it will phase separate and that simply means that the alcohol and the water will bond together, sink to the bottom of the tank and that's usually where your fuel pickups are. And that's why you'll need a 10 micron water separator in order to be able to capture that. If any gets passed, it's usually not a good situation. You know, another question I asked David was, David, is it true that ethanol doesn't work in two-stroke outboards? And this is what David had to say. Ethanol enhanced fuel depends on the blend that you have, the concentration of ethanol in the fuel and the motor you're trying to use it in. Most of what you find out there today is E10 and most manufacturers engines are capable of running on that. But the problem lies when you go in higher concentrations and the efforts to go to an E15 or an E20, which is actually doubling and even tripling the amount of alcohol that is in the fuel supply. That alcohol actually contains less BTUs than the fuel and therefore creates less power than the fuel and also attracts more water. It's not a good situation in boats. In fact, Anything higher than E10 is illegal to dispense into boats. You know, I've heard, and maybe you've heard, of something called E15. And so I asked David also, David, what about concentrations higher than E10? Are they safe to put in our outboards? And listen what David said. Concentrations higher than 10% or E10 of ethanol in the gasoline is harmful to outboard engines and you don't want to use it in the marine environment. In tests that have been performed on engines, there is damage that can be created by that extra alcohol in the fuel. Fuel system components, hoses, things along those lines become affected by the concentrations of alcohol. Again, anything over E10 is not permitted by law in marine applications. You know, now that we know a little bit about ethanol, there was one thing I really, really wanted to ask, and uh, that was, what components do ethanol attack in our outboards? And so uh, David was gracious to add, answer that question too. And so the question was, David, what components in our outboards does ethanol attack? The use of ethanol in an outboard motor can create difficulties. Things like seal swelling, plastic swelling, we have a plastic cup which serves as a fuel filter bowl that actually swells up and becomes impossible to take off without actually destroying the filter or using a special tool in order to get it off. There's also some internal damage that can take place, things like hoses. On older engines, particularly some of the old two-strokes that are out there, they're not the latest and greatest in hose technology and that alcohol can actually dry them out and rot them. If you look at your fuel filter, and you take it off and you see little black specks in that fuel filter element, then what you're looking at is actual disintegration of the hoses from the inside out, and that can be harmful. Now that we understand what is ethanol and what it does, I know I wanted to know, and I'm pretty sure you want to know, what can I do to prevent the damage from ethanol to my outboard? What things can I do to make sure but I don't have the experience, the frustrations that ethanol causes to my outboard. And so this is what David said. There's some things that we can do to make sure that we can enjoy the water 
and don't have to see the dealer often. What you need to do to protect yourself from the damaging properties of ethanol is be proactive. First and foremost, stabilize every ounce of fuel you put in that boat with a good quality marine stabilizer. Then add a solution like Ring Free, which keeps the carbon out of the engine. Third thing is a 10 micron water separating filter. And make sure and use a good quality one. Not all are created equal. And that is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to capture the debris that can be loosened by the alcohol, the solvent properties of the ethanol. And number two, it's going to trap the water that becomes entrapped in the gasoline before it gets into the engine. So 10 micron filter, stabilization, ring free, and lastly, buy your fuel where they sell a lot of it. When you stabilize fuel, you want to stabilize the freshest fuel you can. You don't want to be buying gas that's a week old or a week and a half old. Time is of the essence when it comes to gasoline, and it can begin to break down in a matter of weeks. So buy it where it's fresh, stabilize it right off the bat, filter it, and add rig free.